Welcome back to our salt box house. Um, this is our project as it currently stands. In our previous videos, we have taken our first and second floors. We've modified our second floor and added in our roof. Uh, and then we modified our second floor in order to close up that gap um, underneath the roof. So that's where we're currently at. Um, in these videos, what we're going to do is we're going to start working on the front and sides. Um, the front, we have a, a little bit of an elaborate um, entryway for the salt box house. We're kind of modernizing it a little bit. Um, so we're going to put in a front entryway. Um, and then in our next um, set of videos, we're going to go and put in our windows. And one thing to keep in mind is that this house is very, very symmetric. What's on one side has to be on the other side. Um, and so and so that's kind of and all that style comes from the front entryway. So that's why we're going to start with the front entryway in this. Um, so we're going to go away and we're going to create this front entryway. Um, so some of the measurements may be off um, and, and not really accurate build wise, um, but it will get us fairly close in, in what we're trying to do. Um, I always start, um, if I'm trying to do something, I always start with the tape measure and I kind of tape everything out. Um, so, and that's kind of what I'm going to be doing here. So our doorway is three feet wide and it's centered at the front of the house. So I'm going to go and so I'm first going to start off by creating a two inch border on each side. So that's two inches. Again, I'm just, I just need to type in the, the inches. I don't need to type in like, I, sh I just need to type in the number. I don't need to type in the inch. Um, the top is going to be three and a half. So 3.5. Next is going to be one foot. So one foot on each side. After that, we're going to do 2.5, so 2.5, and then lastly, 5.5. So we got two inches, one foot, two and a half inches, 5.5 inches. At the very top, we have three and a half inches. Let's add 2.5 and then 5.5. So a lot of lines, um, but that's laying everything out for us. Um, now we're outside of the group, so I have, I'm not inside any group. Um, I want to make sure that I'm outside of this, of the house group. I'm going to take my, tri uh, my triangle, or my triangle, my rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle all the way up to that line right here. Draw another rectangle from that point to that point and then another rectangle going down. Take my push-pull tool, pull these out, type in 5.5 inches. You can inference this other measurement or type in 5.5. Okay, next. I'm going to click on that three times, right click, and make it a component. So that's that part. Next, let's go ahead and put in our spaces for our little windows on each side of the door. 
In this case, I do need to go inside this group. So I need to right click, edit group. I have another group inside that. So I need to right click, edit component. And if I click now, you can see that I'm inside, actually inside that component. Next, I'm going to take my rectangle tool, go from that intersection down there, and create this intersection there. So that I have my rec two rectangles. Next, let's take and let's find the offset tool. I'm going to click and move my mouse a little bit. We're going into the inside. We're going to type in 3.5 to both of these. Hit escape. There we go. Escape is always a key whenever you want to undo something that you're uh, stop doing something that you're doing. Um, so I selected that 3.5 enter. Then let's take our push pull tool. Click and push that forward to the end or to the other side. And I can inference that back side so I don't have to actually type in six inches um, as it shows down here. Um, I can just click on the back, back edge there and click and it'll get rid of that. We don't want the windows to go all the way down to the floor. So I want that to be one foot six. So I'm going to push pull all the way up here to that one foot six. And I can inference that guide as, as a reference. This point, I can kind of fill in a lot of these other lines. We want to draw a line here, draw a line there, draw a line across. And because this is on top of this, I do need to take my rectangle tool and I want to draw a rectangle over here. Notice how I am using my mouse shortcuts. So the middle scroll wheel and the shift key allows me to pan, orbit around, zoom in and out, and it goes automatically goes back to the tool that I was using. So it's really key in, in kind of getting moving around really quickly in your projects. I have a lot of guides currently that I really don't need anymore. So if we go down to display, we can hit delete all guides. Zoom in and out. So delete all those guides. So we can kind of see where we're at. Um, so that's our first part. Uh, in our next video, we're going to create a little roof section um, up here in the top to kind of fill out um, the rest of the space, uh, given that we do have a large empty area around um, this front entryway. Uh, make sure that when you're turning this in, that you are taking your your dimensions and dimensioning everything out. Um, it is always better to make sure that you are turning, uh, zooming in, zooming in, and taking multiple images um, and one overall image. Uh, I really want to make sure that that I see your overall image um, with this project, so I can kind of see exactly how it looks. In, in the actual project along with your dimensions. Again, make sure you're going through here, export your PNG to export it out. Make sure you save this project um, and we'll see you again in our next video.